In this video I will demonstrate writing latex documents by voice using Dragon Natural Speaking and Unimacro. Um, Unimacro is a macro development system written in Python for easily creating Python macros to integrate with Dragon Naturally Speaking. Um, the latex module in Unimacro is brand new which is why I thought I should um, present it in a video. Short about LaTeX, uh, the LaTeX document consists of a number of um, commands like use package and new theorem and all that stuff and a series of floating environments such as algorithms, enumerations, equations, etc. There's also references and labels to create references around to the document itself and um, all this combined to, to create the latex document. So let us first look at uh, how the grammar is uh, for, for creating latex files is, is defined. So we have um, six commands available for, for creating. The first is begin and the name of the floating environment and the floating environment is defined in a configuration file which is edited by editable by the user so you can add any floating environments you usually use if they are not already present and the floating environment can as I said be an algorithm a line corollary equation figure itemized lemma etc uh, and the final point of, uh, of this command dragon dictation is some free text you can dictate I after the name of the floating environment which is created converted to the label of the environment so the next command reference allows you to easily create a reference to a floating environment or to a heading type chapter section etc or to some other label type such as subfigure of a specific name label is the same function in reverse, it generates uh, the specific label. Commands takes allows you to enter a latex command also defined in the uh, configuration ini file. So you enter the command name, uh, you can optional, optionally save with arguments and then the name of the argument and the name of the argument can be uh, a package which you would uh, include in use package. Uh, or you can say with that it that will then take the text selected in the document or the current line and wrap into the braces of the command and if you add the command label it will automatically generate a label of the given type uh, that will only work for heading types such as chapter and subsection and such add option allows you to add specific options to a command by inserting square braces and optionally the option name uh, before the curly braces and replace is used to fill out um, fill out uh, templates that are defined in the command section so let us look at um, how the configuration file for for the latex module looks edit latex maximize window So this is a ENI file with a number of sections. So the first section is arguments and here we define all the arguments that can be given to a command. This section is quite small at the moment but it will grow with time and uh, you, are you are of course free to add stuff here yourself. So a typical argument is the name of the package such as algorithm or, or graphics X and we have the spoken form of the of the argument and the text to be entered as the argument. The commands are all the different latex commands you want to use like uh, EPS fig, bibliography, caption, chapter, etc, etc, etc. Floating is the name of the different environments you can have. Algorithm, figure, itemize, lemma, split, etc. And uh, the section heading defines the different heading types. This is used for correctly creating the heading labels 
so a uh, chapter label is prefixed with chapter uh, and so on. Uh, options are the options you can give to a command. It's quite slim at the moment and placeholders are used in the um, in the um, in the templates. So for instance include graphics uses uh, two placeholders size and contents which allows you to easily navi navigate to those points uh, and replace it with the, with the text you want. So to give you a better understanding of how this works I'll run through a very simple latex example. Um, I will probably do mistakes, make mistakes, so please bear with me. Um, as the editor I use TextWorks but this is not select and say enabled so I will use another Unimacro command to transfer everything to Word which thanks to some uh, Visual Basic scripts uh, does rudimentary latex highlighting and then we can transfer it back to TextWorks to do the uh, compilation. Document class article strike document class with argument article terminate line begin document edit all latex so the final command edit all latex creates a temporary file which is open which it opens in word and you'll notice that the um, that um, it has been colored and this is the syntax highlighting and and I'll it will become more apparent uh, later on so I can add an option to the article add option 12 point terminate line use package graphics x undo that use package with arguments graphics x new line this is the title of the document cap that title that New line. Down to. Introduction. Cap that. Section that with label. So I've now created the rudimentary parts of a latex document with an introduction section and a title. Full stop. You'll notice that I have a few strike two. Cap, you will notice that there are a few recognition mistakes. Full stop. This is a brand new Dragon 10 installation, which I haven't had time to train very much yet. Full stop. I can enter other environments also, such as uh, enumerations, full stop, new line, begin enumerate, new item, spacebar, cap this is the first item, new line, new item, spacebar, cap this is the second item, down new line, strike down enter. I can also insert more complex stuff such as a figure environment. Full stop new line. Begin figure a beautiful figure. So it created the f complete figure environment for me with an appropriate label consisting of the environment name, a figure, and a colon, and the concatenation of, uh, of um, 
of the text I dictated afterwards, uh, all in lowercase. So this is the standard uh, I use. So uh, it also it allows me to easily create references to the same uh, same stuff later. So just to include some graphics, include graphics, replace contents with file name. This is uh, a way of replacing the uh, the placeholders. Um, file and was obviously not what I dictated, but still you can also exclude the uh, the optional text afterwards just to select the placeholder like this. Replace size 0 0.9. Down, enter. Creating the reference to the figure is quite easy full stop. Look at cap figure, no space tilde, reference figure a beautiful figure, full stop. Like that. Um, commands can also be uh, uh, done on uh, pre-dictated text, like this. This is a dictation comma, and I want to emphasize something. Full stop. Select emphasize. Emphasize that. Spacebar. End of line. Undo that. End line. New paragraph. In the same way I can create other environments such as tables, full stop new line, begin table, big table, begin tabula, down to, end line, new line. And finally, we need a bibliography, full stop, new line, bibliography style with argument plain, terminate line, bibliography. So this is a rudimentary latex document. Uh, with examples of uh, at least a number of the different stuff we can do. Uh, of course we can also reference the uh, the sections. So if I want to make a section reference I can uh, do it like this. Cap, we are now in section. No space tilde. Reference section introduction. Full stop. New line. Caption. This is the figure caption. I can also insert labels arbitrarily, like uh, in any way I want, basically. Label figure something. So when I've completed my stuff, I can co move it back to the TextWorks file document uh, program to do my editing there. Um, of course I can also, this does hasn't really uh, exemplified the uh, syntax highlighting, so let me just do that. Format document. So you can see that uh, the different parts of the document has different uh, colors and types, so a section has a heading type and uh, ends up in the navigation bar like this. So I've completed editing my document, so I can transfer it back to the editor. Edit ready. The next step is to um, compile the document. Um, that will probably not work since uh, I haven't really included the correct files, but we can try. Typeset. Yep, and we get uh, 
an error on the uh, use package in this case. Well, anyway, um, this is the um, LaTeX workflow with uh, LaTeX in Unimacro is not currently available in the release version, but it will soon be, I, I hope. <laughs>